Hey everyone, this is a follow-up after a week that Windows 10 has been no longer supported. So I'm going to be making this little interesting video because this is a follow-up, even though I got the Windows update thing. But there's something interesting I wanted to show you on the right over here. If you look on the right on the screen where it says your PC is enrolled to get secu extended security updates. So if you still are on, if you're still using Windows 10 and you decide to hold off on that Windows 11, that free Windows 11 upgrade if your computer isn't eligible for Windows 11, or if you're, meaning your computer, if, if your computer is eligible for Windows 11, you want to hold off on that Windows free upgrade to Windows 11, or, or if your computer can't run Windows 11, for that instance, and you don't want to give up window, your own Windows 10 install, it gives you, you got the option to do the um, security update program, which is basically good for about a year until October 2026 to, to temporarily get you by until you decide to um, upgrade to Windows 11 on your free will or having to buy a whole new computer with Windows 11, which I know many people, I know a lot of people don't like Windows 11. Even though I personally don't like Windows 11 myself, nor Windows 10, because I'm not too big on modern versions of Windows myself, even though I'm more of a Mac user, even though surprisingly I could, I'm still getting all the updates from Microsoft since I've enrolled in that, enrolled in that um, extended support, in the extended security update program but the thing is you gotta make sure you have all of the important all the updates that Microsoft that's all, that's all the important Windows 10 updates and restart your computer a few times before you get a prompt that allows you to have the option to enroll in that Windows 10 extended support program or what I mean the extended security update program you should get a prompt but they do have a registry hack if it doesn't show up which there is a youtube video that shows you on how to modify the registry to enable that option to enroll in the extended security update program but surprisingly it's still downloading updates like windows 10 was is still being supported which is but there is paid support too that you can do but you do have an option to switch to Linux if you can't afford a new computer right now or don't want to uh, buy a whole new computer right now. You can always try Linux because Linux got lots of distros. Pro probably like Ubuntu and Linux Mint and Zorian OS. So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all guys a little follow up of Windows 10 of this little Windows 10 computer after it's after Windows 10 being no longer supported, being, even though although this one is being running the enrolled in the extended security update program, you can do it with a few if your computer if you get all the updates fully installed on all the like the regular Windows 10 updates. Then you can be sure to get all grab, go ahead and um, get be able to have that little prompt that allow. But you're gonna need a Microsoft account, so make sure you use it. You're you're using a Microsoft account to enroll in the Windows 10 Extended Security Update program. So yeah, let me go ahead and sign off for now, and hope you find this video interesting. And thanks for watching.